Um, I used to be the president of Liberal Party for Kings West. Well, he was, he was my legal he's doing good. Hi. How you doing? All right. I got an interview with you. That was, who, who, oh, you're, uh, what's his name? You have a blog, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. LeBlanc, Charles. Charles, Charles. What's your name? Carl Wolfen. Uh, I don't know what I want to be. I'm pretty spent right now, but okay, what do you no, want? No, yeah, no, no, yeah, that yeah. was uh, pretty. I'll give you a press packet. It was good. Yeah, well, thank you. That was good. No, I got the I got the whole thing on on video. Oh, I good. Said, I said, good. who's that guy? <laughs> good. Then you, know, you you go to my blog. Just write to go to Google. Yeah, I, I've got. I've been on your blog. Just I, write. You know, the, 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 I've been. I, I should, yeah. Just write bullshit, and yeah, yeah, it, and yeah, it's it all there. Up. It comes up. <laughs> Worst thing that happened the last week is purple and violet went under. Because I mean, I was, oh, I I was getting addicted to purple and violet. Oh, please, we don't much here. Anyhow, that's okay. But okay. anyway, <laughs> what's the deal? Was you feel pretty passionate again? Yeah, you of did, course, you I did, feel you passionate. Did, you did your research. Um, what's well, I, I, you know, I, I, I feel passionate about this because I feel passionate about the river. I feel passionate about the province. I feel passionate about the environment. I mean, this is river water from my backyard. I feel passionate about my children. I feel passionate because I can see a future here. I can see a future here. I can see I have a vision that, yes, climate change is a terrible thing. But as I said, it may be benign here. Uh, we may have weather events, horrible weather events, but the this, this season, the actual growing season, is two months longer. David, my son, is, um, you know, as I said, employing 70, 70 people, uh, $30,000 payroll every two weeks, and he's supplying probably 12 to 1,500 people daily, weekly, with organic food. It could, there could be nine other industries in this valley if they don't ruin it. Yeah, and the province. I'm, I'm, I've seen my colleagues, my friends doing the work that the government should have been doing this last, last year. Fifty people, consultants, full-time, part-time, have been spending, who knows, sixty, hundred dollars an hour exploring shale gas or meeting with public relation firms like M5 and Swin on how to convince the public of this. I mean, where's their brains? I mean, they don't, either, either there's something else going on that we don't understand or we should be ashamed for, uh, for voting in such such limited creativity, creative and intellectual people. Are you a preacher? No, I'm not a preacher. I'm an environmentalist. <laughs> and in my old retirement age, I've become an activist. I, I, what were you doing before? I have, I have five degrees. Five degrees? I, I was doing psychotherapy. <laughs> and I was doing um, uh, family therapy, divorce, uh, marriage. <laughs> yeah. And before that, I was teaching everywhere, everything from... So you're familiar with ADHD then? Yeah, yeah. yeah Asperger's. Yeah. I was yeah. doing... I was school counselor. Yeah, nice meeting. Nice meeting. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> together. Come and visit me. Uh, by all means. I'm right in Hampton. And my son, David, owns Cradles. You're in Hampton? Yeah, David owns Cradles. Cuddles. That's Go my song. Away with you. So, so just, he just uh, bought that. Yeah, two a year and a half ago. Okay, no, so, I live in Hampton. I'm a, um, I'm a kilometer, three kilometers from Cradles, right on okay. the river. I'll, uh, I'll look you up. Nice. What does uh, Bev Harrison say about all this to you? <laughs> Bev Harrison uh, has been helpful, but in, in you know, <laughs> when it came to kind of uh, standing up and not going with the party, I don't think he made it that day. No. I don't think he, he. I don't think he was in attendance. So does it matter? Uh, which part you know what happened? Well, I'll give you an anecdote with Bev Harrison. Bev Harrison. What got to Bev Harrison was that licensed land is above the golf course. In, in Hampton. Hampton voted the mayor and council not to, not to seismically test. I mentioned to Bev one day, he lives on Main Street, I said, you know, if they have wells above the golf course and they put down a line and it goes out two or three kilometers, they'll come right under your house on Main Street, yeah. you know, and it will. You can't, you can't legislate a town you know, and say a town cannot have uh, seismic testing. I mean, it's nice Chris Pamster did it and Hampton did it, but you're surrounded. And uh, George Bush passed this without an, environment, without an environment impact assessment. Just give it to his buddy Dick Cheney to make some money. Well, that's, yeah, that's the, the war. They just lifted all the regulations. Yeah. You know, but, but here, we don't, we, don't have, we don't have the specter of, of you know, um, you know uh, America first. You know, just just for us, we don't want to be dependent on Mideast oil. We have plenty of energy here. You know, we have tidal power if we want to develop it. We have we have passive solar. I have an office building that's built into the hill, and it's R2000, and it just heats itself. You remind me of a Jack McDougal style. You're, you're somebody that person. Jack McDougal, head, he, head of uh, he, he was at a Green Party. Yeah, he and uh, he's uh, you're you're sort of the same thing. Like you're a person that a person could listen to. Uh, you got your own blog, you or? No, I, I don't. I, I have two sites on Facebook, and I don't deal with either. Well, of them. I mean, you should do videos of. 
of, no, I, I of yourself. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, when I get passionate about things, I'm passionate about things. I'm, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm, I, I, I don't have when I have no choice to act. I act. I mean, and that's how I feel. I feel, you know, and that's how. That's why you're getting so many people here because they feel like they're defending their, in their environment. It's terrible. Uh, does, it, does it matter who you put in there, liberals or conservative? Uh, Mike Murphy has done his homework. He's done his homework. He knows what he knows what it's about. He's he's gone to Penobscot. I hope he gets to be liberal leader. I'll become a liberal for a day to, to try to ensure his nomination. However, I don't know whether it's. I, I hope I hope it would make a difference. Uh, I'd love to see the Greens in. You know, I I don't know. I, I think we need a new. I think we need a David new. David not good. David Howard don't have no fit with David. Uh, how how could you? How could you look what he's look what he's look what he's look what he's foisting on on the province? This is this is awful. When sixty percent of the population in an impartial survey say they want a ban or a moratorium, when we're surrounded, Quebec has a moratorium, Nova Scotia has a moratorium, and Vermont has a ban, New Jersey has a ban, South Carolina has a ban, France has a moratorium, um, you know, South Africa has has a has a has a ban, you know, Romania, Bulgaria, who the heck are we? That we think we're going to go ahead, and and the other thing is the whole tax thing. Why are we why are we so broke? Why are we cutting out why are we cutting out ambulances? You know because we did tremendous tax cuts for the corporations and private industry. Listen, I did a lot of interviews. <laughs> I don't know. This is a uh, no, dude, that was one of the best. Listen, oh, listen, you keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs>